a little bit of Eddie Murphy, Nutty Professor. Okay, great to have your company. Now, let's talk weight loss. When it comes to it, good health or even energy boosting, there's possibly a pill for everything these days, right? But while these pills may come with promises of some quick fixes, like the Nutty Professor, a lot of the time they're not healthy, let alone long-term solutions. Safe and long-term weight loss can't be achieved through a pill. Here is your sermon today, nor even a super strict or restrictive diet alone. And nutritionist Sarah DiLorenzo is with us now to share her top tips for having a successful, safe and long-term weight loss plan. You are super fit and fabulous, Sarah. Welcome back to you. Hi, Ed. It's so good to be back. And, you know, today's topic is so relevant, especially coming off the back of Halloween Silly season starting, and of course we have Melbourne Cup on Tuesday, yes. Everyone needs to fit into that frock that they've been they eyeing do. off for months, <laughs> and myself <They> included. <laughs> oh, really? You're going on Tuesday? No, I, I just don't wear frocks. I'll, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll level with you. But look, you're obviously onto something because you're in fabulous shape and you're the sort of nutritionist that we like to listen to because you practice Thank what you. you preach. Absolutely. Yeah, so I've got, look, I've formulated a little program. So I just do want to start by telling all your wonderful listeners that um, this program I put together is based on two kind of concepts. And one of them, it's a combination of fasting and ketosis. Not that I like to use the word fasting. I prefer because it does scare people. I do prefer to refer to it as a 500 calorie day, but it's just, it's a combination of those two. And I find that clinically, it will take off between a kilo to a kilo and a half a week of all of my patients with compliance. I I bet weight loss is one of the most popular requests too in your clinic. Well, it is. I mean, and there's so many, but you see, I see, as a nutrition, it is, and it's really important, but as weight loss, I look at weight loss very differently to what people do generally. A lot of people just see, um, I see it from a very big health perspective. As As a nutritionist, I look at Adipose tissue really is an active endocrine organ that is involved in the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and that contributes to that low-level systemic inflammation that is seen in metabolic syndrome, like associated chronic pathologies such as cardiovascular disease and all those kind of things. And so for me, weight loss is really important because weight loss is, is seen by me and other healthcare professionals really as an inflammatory disease that links to um, other other diseases like arthritis, high blood pressure, Crohn's, Alzheimer's, depression, type 2 diabetes. Um, okay, I can go on, yes, cancer, it's a long heart list. disease. But yeah, it is. So um, I like people to understand that it's actually seen as a disease state. And so it's important for that, those reasons, Absolutely. other than the aesthetics. Yeah. Yes. Well, look, there's some of the aesthetic fat that we can see that's uh, hanging in clumps where we don't want it to be, but there's also a lot of intramuscular fat as well around our vital internal organs too. Does either of those come off more quickly than the other? Well, yeah, no, there, well, there's two types of fat. You've got visceral, which is the fat between the organs, and that is the dangerous fat. That, mm. fat, is, that fat is the killer fat. That is what actually leads to all heart disease. And that's, that's fat that um, people might, like, might think that fat is subcutaneous generally, but it's that fat that puts pressure on our organs and on our arteries that creates cardiovascular disease. And that's one of, that's one of the massive things in our healthcare system today. And you know what, Ed? It's reversible. I've got this great program with the ketogenic diet and fasting that is so successful. And um, if and if I could just get my hands on everyone and in, and get them on this program and <laughs> stop them from ending up on medications in their fifties, you know, that would be amazing. But anyway, yes. Look, there's so many different body types, aren't there? Do you see uh, one body type is capable of losing fat a bit more quickly than others? Not, I think not really. I think, I mean, look, there is that thought postmenopausal people often, I actually don't buy into all that. There is, I do have some patients who come in and they do say, look, I'm, I'm postmenopausal, so it's harder for me to lose weight. Or men who go through the unspoken thing of the, the andropause, which is the male menopause. And they always, there's this sort of this, this myth that weight loss in, the, in menopause or postmenopause because of hormonal changes is difficult. I don't buy into that. No, it's not. If you're compliant, if you learn how to fast, you learn a ketogenic diet, if you have compliance, if you exercise, if you have adequate hydration, if you're accountable through... And, of course, you know the big thing, and I know everyone's just going to go, oh, gluten again. But if you're gluten-free, gluten-free is massive. Can I tell you one little thing that people can... For every single person that enters my clinic, I say, okay, you're, you leave here, you're gluten-free. And I make them more gluten. They're like, oh, I like gluten. I like this. I like that. And I said, no, 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 just do it for two or three weeks. Right. And they come back in and they go, you know what? I haven't had a headache for two weeks. 
I haven't actually. I'm not bloated anymore. And I say, ah. yeah, you know what? It's, that's gluten. But you sound it's, very strict, Sarah. You will be compliant. <laughs> you will you only. You will not have 501 calories, or there will be issues. Can I just tell you, though, the <laughs> little things about fasting, like. And I bet you after I tell you this, you're going to want to fast, Ed, okay? <laughs> so, but people, when I talk to them about fasting, they get overwhelmed, like, I can't do that. I couldn't do 500 calories a day. And this is the whole thing about, I love fasting. I've been doing it probably two days a week for years, and I think that's the way you can have it all. And that's my little thing about, but I'll just to give you my little spiel on fasting, you lose weight, you look trim, your cholesterol's down, your blood pressure's down, you repair cells, insulin's down, you fight disease, reduce inflammation. Your brain power is up because you've got the, your neural connections will, uh, strengthened due to calorie restrictions, which challenges the brain. It's an, um, fasting is antidepressive, increases longevity, increases metabolic rate, is anti-aging. Everything I'm telling you right now, Ed, is actually evidence-based. I'm not making all this up. <laughs> and, on to- and on top of that, it increases human growth hormone by fivefold. So therefore, that means when you've got fivefold of human growth hormone, it means high, it means high fat burning and muscle gain. So, who wouldn't want to do a proper, correct, supervised fast if they're going to uh, if they're going to anti age, look fantastic, have a, have a reduced insulin resistance? They're going to be smart. They're going to live longer. Human growth hormone, and you know what? They're not going to have any kind of. Um, they're going to be happy. There'll be no antidepressive effect. Wow. Now you know what? Taking all those factors in, punching it into the supercomputer, sounds yeah. like it's it's a tough regime. Let's be honest. For uh, till you reach some sort of a goal, but then fairly easy to maintain. I'm thinking, yeah. Definitely. Look, keto. This is the thing about a ketogenic diet. Not everyone, like I love ketosis. Not everyone is indicated for it to be successful in ketosis you've got to actually be exercising regularly because it is a high fat diet and you've got to have that hydration but that you know there's and there is a great range of foods you can have but as i said if you're going to do a ketogenic diet you really need to do it with supervision but the beauty of a ketogenic diet is you actually stay full the whole time because it is a high protein low carb diet but you do get People say to come in and say to me, "Oh wow, this ketosis and this these fast days are really." I'm actually not hungry. I'm well, doing good. really well. There we no, go. That, they are really satiating, and there, there is. And then people go, "But it's a high fat diet." But the evidence actually shows the benefits of a ketogenic diet. Uh, it actually um, it raises your HDLs, lowers your LDLs. It improves gut health. Energy's up. You know, you also you lose weight from the central adiposity, which is that visceral fat, yeah. um, improves um, any chances of diabetes. I mean, it's such a fantastic... Um, uh, getting yourself into ketosis is is a really great way because ketosis is actually using fat for fuel and not glu- glucose. Well, there's the good SDLs. That's you, the Sarah oh, Lorenzo's. thank you. What do we need to... <laughs> what, what secrets can you reveal about the ke- ketogenic diet? Um, no, what, what do you mean? What secrets? Well, secrets. Well, what do we need to eat to oh, okay. get into this state okay. of ketosis? Food wise. Okay, yeah. so it is high. So food, basically you've got a range of foods to choose from, but I will tell you one amazing tip. So basically, um, just to go through it, it's um, seafood, low-carb vegetables. It's um, Berries are the only fruit that I allow on that. Cheese, avocados, meat, poultry, eggs, Greek yogurt, olive oil, even butter and cream, unsweetened coffee and tea, dark chocolate. But it's just avocados. But the one thing... For all, the, for all of your wonderful listeners to understand if they are going to take on this diet is to use coconut oil. Coconut oil, I put it in my salads, I cook with it, I put a bit of it in my coffee and coconut oil is the best for ketosis because it actually increases your ketone levels because it's a medium chain triglyceride. So being a medium chain triglyceride, it goes straight to the liver and is converted straight into ketones which increases, of course, metabolic rate promotes the loss of weight and, of course, loss of belly fat. So coconut oil is the best oil. That's my, that's my secret to share on the success of a okay. ketogenic diet. What about our stunningly fit pre-elite level listeners who need to exercise a little bit or have some fun stuff they do a few times a week? How do you manage that on such low calories per day? Well, you, well I, I don't know. I, see, I think the best way, to, in my own opinion, I think the best time to exercise is within the first, the first 20 minutes of waking up. Yeah. I find that you, that's when you actually use your fat for fuel. 
So I, I encourage exercise first thing in the morning. It's also when you, um, people seem to be quite, I mean, most people are generally alert and do prefer that exercise in the morning. Um, I don't find that a ketogenic diet affects anyone's level, energy levels. I actually find that in my clinical experience that, um, a ketogenic diet actually gives people more energy because they're satiated. They're not having the blood, blood, the blood glucose surges that they would get from a, um, a refined diet of um, a simple carbohydrates where they're getting blood sugars up and down. So I actually find because they've got that satiation and their blood sugars are consistent with good protein sources, um, generally their energy is fine. It's right. not, you're not deprived Ed, yeah. at all. Good news, Sarah. You've got it all figured out. And this is a great website to check out. It's yours, sdlmethod.com. How to lose weight safely. And that's the key word there too. And then keep yep. it off for good. That's my favorite phrase. Keep yes. doing that. My favourite phrase is you can have it all. (laughs) I quite like that one too. I like that. Wonderful update. SDLmethod.com is the website. Uh, Sarah, thanks. Hey, let's chat next week, okay? Yeah, excellent. Thanks so much for having me. Have a beautiful week.